one and two and Mary Corboy and we're at Greensgrove Farm in Kensington section of Philadelphia and we're standing here in the middle of a hydroponic lettuce stand. Uh, hydroponics is two words, hydro meaning water and ponics meaning work and a hydroponics system is a system where there's no soil involved. What's involved is water and water carries the nutrients that feed the plants so that the plant will grow just the way it would if it was in soil. Uh, what you do is you add the nutrients and all different plants take up a different set of nutrients. In the case of lettuce, which is grown quite a bit hydroponically, they're, they're very ver well versed in exactly what nutrients it does take. And so we add the solution based on the EC, the electrical conductivity, and the pH of the, the water that's flowing through here now. We add the nutrients that we know that it needs based on what we know lettuce grow, needs best to grow. And then the, the nutrient enhanced water is pumped up through a main pump into a manifold and it comes up to the top of these tables. These tables are just gutters like you would find on your house. And the gutters are placed on tables at a gentle slope of about two degrees over a hundred feet. And they go into another return line, which is also sloped. So basically what happens is the water continues to flow around and around in a circle in this system. This is a very water efficient system. Uh, the only water that you lose in this particular kind of system is through transpiration, uh, which is the water that's taken up by the plants, and evaporation, the water that's taken up by the, by the sun and by the atmosphere. So uh, these plants, these are all different varieties of lettuce that you see growing here. We specialize in growing lettuce in our hydroponic system. These are different varieties of lettuce. During the course of any one season at Greensgrow, we'll grow about 13 different varieties based on the time of year, the temperatures, the amount of moles of light a day that are available. And we change it up all the time. The plants are seeded into a small cube, which I'm going to show you, and that cube is, a, is a, a floral foam, actually. It's an inert floral foam, and this is it in its very, very nursery stage. So you can see the difference. And then the roots grow down and they develop into this inert floral foam. This holds 40 times its own weight in water. So it keeps the roots of the plants wet all the time. So here we have a, a seed, a cube with nothing in it at all, and here we have companion cube that has plant growing out of it. It's just small seed gets put into a little hole and thing. And then we'd simply take the little cube and drop it into the system. Lettuce happens to be a crop that can grow when its roots are wet. And um, it's taken up, it's taken up into the plant and then it takes during the summer about four weeks from the time we seed the plant to when we harvest it. And we simply harvest it by cutting it off as like such, and then we take it and uh, mix all the lettuces together and bag it, and we cut it the day before it's going to be harvested and sold at our farm stand uh, here at Greensgrove Farm. So you can grow all kinds of different things in the system. We choose to grow lettuce. The lettuce is extraordinarily fresh because it's just been, it's literally just been harvested. It's got very distinctive flavors. People think of lettuce as something that's sort of innocuous and doesn't really taste like anything. It's just something whole blue cheese dressing. But actually, um, all lettuces have different flavors and they have different textures. And that's one of the selling points for our lettuce is that it's just been picked and it's got very discernible flavors and textures to the lettuce mix. Uh, we can go over and take a look at the tanks where the hydroponic solution is mixed. 
and um, the pumping system that feeds the entire system. This is the actual plumbing that's used to set up a, a hydroponic system. In this case, this system that we're talking about today is an NFT system. NFT stands for Nutrient Film Transfer. And that's because um, in this process, it's just a tiny little film of water that runs underneath the plants. The, the way the plumbing works on a system like this is water is pumped into this large tank, just plain old city water from the city of Philadelphia's system. And, uh, and then it's pumped out with this one th small pump into a manifold, runs 24 hours a day. And the manifold brings the water up to these individual tables. And the reason for the individual tables is it lets us control the kinds of plants that we want to grow. And it lets us turn off or turn on an individual table so that we can save water so the table's not being used at any given time so that we can clean the table so that you can keep a table separate if it were to happen to get any kind of um, disease or problem with it. You just turn off the whole table and it's separate from the rest of the system and it won't contaminate the rest of the system. But the water is pumped up into this, into this smaller pipe and then it just flows down and it flows underneath on top of this material, which is called capillary matting. This is a synthetic material. So the water flows down into this return line, which as you can see, is just a wooden box that we fabricated and lined with uh, plastic that's sun, sun, UV, UV resistant, so it doesn't break down during the course of the season. It then goes into the returning nutrient solution, then goes into this smaller reservoir, and from here it flows through this three inch PVC pipe into the larger reservoir where we started the whole process. Goes round and round. The water bill to run Green Co Farm using a system that runs 24 hours, seven days a week for from April until November is actually less expensive than probably the water bill for the average house in America. And the, one of the reasons for that is that A, the system is. Uh, a recirculating system so we're using the same water over and over and again but the system never empties itself out so none of this water ever goes into a rainwater runoff system it doesn't go into a sewer so we're not char we're only charged for the water that we're actually taking in there is no discharge of water all of the water that's used it's take up, taken up by the plants it makes the system an extremely efficient water system an extremely efficient electric system to run. Run all with one low wattage pump. Just keeps a, the system running round and round the circle all day long.